Hi, I'm back, and we have a guest now that is nobody else has come on does what he does in the arts, and I'd like to introduce you to Sergio Duarte. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm so glad that you came. I'm so interested in getting different types of art, you know. And yeah. There's writers and artists and stuff, but to find somebody that is, is t tell them what you do. So I am a freelance makeup artist. Um, I specialize in doing uh, bridal makeup and weddings and stuff like that, but I do do a little bit of everything. I can do glam makeup, I can do anything avant-garde. I mean, I just dive in head first into anything that will give me a challenge or anything that, you know, I find beautiful to recreate. And uh, you don't, I'm gonna pull this over a little closer to you. Yeah. Do you do the really fancy makeups with this, you better make masks or just the regular face? Um, it just really depends on the client. You know, I have some clients that will ask me for something extremely natural. So what I do is just enhance what they already have, you know, and um, and just cover up any imperfections as naturally as possible. And then I have other clients who really like to take it there and like to go like full face, contour, highlight, um, mm -hmm. you know, cut crease, bold brows, a bold lip, you know, double lashes. So it just depends, you know, wow. everyone has different preferences, but I can definitely do it all. So if anybody has a wedding and they want to really look beautiful, they call you, right? Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> okay, Sergio, tell me a little bit about how you got interested in makeup. Um, well, I started to dab dabble into it back in 2005, 2006. And then um, when 2007 came around, I wanted to really like make it a point to work for MAC Cosmetics. And so that was my goal that year, and I <laughs> made it happen. I got in with the brand, and I stuck with them for 10 years. Good. So I spent my entire 20s with them. Um, I left them at the beginning of last year in January, and then I started freelance on my own, and now I do weddings and stuff, and you know, pretty busy on the weekends with all of that. But I really love it. I love what I do, and I think it's such a... For me, it's like an honor to be able to be there for someone's big day, because the competition is so stiff now that to have the opportunity to be that one artist to be there and make them look beautiful and create a, a timeless look that'll last a lifetime, you know? I think that's such a beautiful thing to be a part of. That's so, fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, I taught makeup a long time ago. Oh, cool. And, uh, well, modeling and makeup, whatever. But I also liked the age makeup or, you know, some, something a little different. Do you ever do any of that? Um, I mean, I do... Pretty much, I'll, I'll try anything, you know, and if I don't know how to do it, I'll go do my homework and I'll, I'll make sure I, like, work on how to, you know, recreate whatever it is a client wants me to recreate. Or if I see something that I feel like will challenge me a little bit, I'll just do my best to recreate it, you know, because when I first started doing this, I had no idea what I was doing. I <laughs> didn't know what a primer was or a concealer, you know, but I just trusted myself in the process and just dove in, you know, being fearless and just... <laughs> trying everything and so you know you're self-taught yeah um, i think that's fantastic yeah. it really is because is. you get your you put part of you into it yeah which makes it a little different than everybody else does you know yeah exactly and everyone has their own style and everything but um you know it just it always really depends on what the client wants and then you kind of go from there and create a look that'll work for them and make sense to them too you know so you do a lot of driving in your car all into different people. In other yeah. Words. They don't come to you, you go to them, I go to right? them, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, and because when I was in retail, one thing that I found with having a bride come to a retail environment, it's not the best place to be at, especially on your big day. You don't want to be driving around. You don't want to have to worry about being here, being there. You know, we come to you and we do your makeup and take care of you there at your place of, you know, your home or whether it's your venue where you're at, you know, but we do, we go to you, yeah. Now, did you bring anything in? Did you bring a video or anything? I did bring, uh, I did email pictures in and everything. Um, oh, let's see if I find this. Is this, is this your stuff here? Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Yeah. So those are a few bridal looks. Of it. That's yeah. Great. So. It's almost like doing a painting. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. It really is <laughs> art, you know. And, um, and that's what I love about art. It's in, it comes in different forms, you know, so uh -huh. this is just another way of expressing that. Well, she looks very happy with whatever you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's neat. That really is good. So there's quite a few different images that we have right here. Yeah, that is 
very glamorous. Yeah, that one's a little bit more bold, more smoky. Mm -hmm. um, and that one's super soft, but really mm -hmm. like just enhanced, you know, she wanted something more softer, more enhanced, well, but just still her. And that's sure, what we did. It's great. I think it's great. And then you want, you, even with every makeup on, you have to look natural. Yeah, definitely. You, can, you can't turn into a freak or something. No, you know, and that's something I always suggest to Brian is like, go with something that's going to be timeless. Go with something that's going to be natural. That's still going to be you mm -hmm. because you're going to look back at these pictures, you know, and you're going to see yourself and you want to, you don't want to be stamped with like, you know, what's in trend right now with like Instagram makeup or, you know, the way makeup is being worn on social media. You want something that'll be more timeless, more, um, just not so not stamped, you know? That's right, because I, I've seen them put too much makeup yeah. on, and then you lose the person. Yeah, you do. Makeup, it so. washes everything out, and it becomes a bit too much. And I mean, and, and there's a fine line between like doing too much and not enough, because even if they want natural, you still kind of have to lay a little bit on there so it shows in camera and everything, too. Because everything in photography dilutes, so you kind of have to take that into, into account as well. It's so interesting. I'm just, I really, anything to do with the arts, I love, you know. I'm yeah. Like, I'm in, I've been involved in just about every art there is, except I don't play the piano or something Oh, like I that. do. You do play I piano? do, yeah. Oh, I'm like so big in the arts. I love drawing, music, makeup, like anything that has to do with anything artistic, I'm just all about it. I love that it. That is fabulous. How do people get in touch with you? you um, they can find me on my Instagram page at uh, bearbeauty16. Uh, um, they can find me on there. They can either collect text or email and they can get in contact with me in that way. Um, and they can also you know, just email me. I, I don't have a website as of yet. Oh. It's something I've been trying to work on, but I'm very particular about what I want it to look like. So <laughs> it's sure. been a it's been a little bit of a struggle. Well, that's fantastic because I know that if anybody out there is planning a wedding, you want to look beautiful, you call this this young man, <laughs> it's Mr. Sergio. What is that? Italian looks Italian. Uh, I know my last name is Portuguese. Duarte. Oh. Yeah, that's Portuguese. I'm not sure about Sergio, though. <laughs> Maybe Hispanic. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Gee, I'm so glad you came in. And Thank come you. in again because I like to get my guests known by the audiences. If they see them more often, yeah. it'll click. You know, just yeah, for better sure. Than just once. So come on in. Yes, I will. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. I yes. enjoyed it. We'll be right back.